Howard Safer with us right now, the former New York City Police Commissioner. Howard, very good to have you, and thank you for taking the time. Um, there's more common ground between the two parties than we're often led to believe, uh, not that, that to satisfy either party's exclusive interest in resolving this, but when it comes to, for example, guns, maybe that's some in question for those under 21, not to let them get some of those guns. What do you make of that? Well, you know, if you look back at the school shootings, almost all of them involved young men, 18 or under, and assault weapons. So I know that there's no way that Congress is going to pa pass the assault weapon ban again. But I do believe there is a way that this can be fixed. You know, under the Federal Firearms Act, machine guns are available to the public. But in order to get a machine gun, you have to submit two uh, photographs, your fingerprints. A local law enforcement agency has to certify that you have a reason to have one. So why not do the same thing with assault weapons and classify them under that same statute and make sure that anybody who wants one with a legitimate reason can get it, but an 18-year-old Ramos can't go into a store for $2,000 now and get it instantly. So I think that is one way that you can maintain the right to an assault weapon, but you have to go through a few hoops so that these young kids don't get them right away. To that point, Commissioner, in New York, they're debating this very issue, and they had been even prior to this shooting, where at least some of these type of weapons, I don't know what they were included in, in, in just assault weapons, uh, would be banned if you're under 21. What do you make of that? I don't think just under 21 is going to do it, because kids can get false ID. Right. Uh, there, there's all kinds of ways. Why not have them go to their police station, get fingerprinted, get a photograph, pay, and also uh, under the IRS statute, if you buy a machine gun, you got to pay a tax of $200. Why not make it harder to get these assault weapons? Don't prohibit them, but make it harder so that the people who have them have them responsibly, and these sudden uh, momentary things where kids get them instantly do not happen again. That's what happened in almost every one of these school shootings. They got these weapons legally. And indeed, that was the case, certainly, with Salvador Ramos, uh, the 18-year-old who was behind these attacks, and he got these two guns uh, legally and without incident. And there was a background check, we're told. But that background check, and maybe you can help me here, Commissioner, understand it, it varies depending on the region and how thorough, let's say, they, they explore you. But if he had no record, no criminal record, uh, and even youthful violations uh, to, 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 to go back to, there would be no reason yeah, for him not to get the weapon, right? Right. Well, you know, criminal criminal records are not perfect. Right. Uh, you also have to check the boxes that you're not going to use it for criminal purposes, that you have no mental illness, blah, blah, blah. But the fact is they are not real good background checks. That's why putting some hoops in the way of getting assault weapons for anybody, because the truth is, there is no legitimate sporting purpose for an assault weapon. The only reason assault weapons are made are to kill people. So we need to limit the people who can get them. And if we have to have them on the street, let them be with people who have submitted to this process. That's not a bad idea. There, 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 there has to be areas where the two sides, well, each one will not get everything they want, but, but you got to do, do something. Uh, and you would think that this would be the catalyst to at least find areas where there's common interest in making sure the wrong types don't have the weapons and the kind of background checks that you talk about can be done consistently and across the country. Uh, Howard Safer, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.